This is the city after a storm, a scene through the eyes of Wilmington's own Edward Loper Sr. Once you learn to see, as an artist, the world will never look the same again. Painted in 1937, this moody landscape would become the first painting by an African-American artist ever acquired by the Delaware Art Museum. Loper would go on to become one of Delaware's most celebrated cultural figures, an artist known for a palette of vibrant colors that would reflect the world around him. Born in 1916 on the east side of Wilmington, Loper graduated Howard High School, the only high school for African Americans at the time. From the start of his career, he was largely self-taught. Loper would often pore over books of art at the Wilmington Public Library and visit the Philadelphia Museum of Art to see paintings by the great masters. During the Great Depression, Loper found work illustrating toys and furniture for the Index of American Design at the National Gallery of Art as part of a Works Progress Administration art project. By 1940, Loper was a rising star, featured in Howard University Professor Alan Locke's landmark book, The Negro in Art. He spent the 40s in Wilmington painting many iconic Delaware landscapes and cityscapes still recognizable today. His style continued to evolve, transitioning to the abstract shapes and bold colors of his kaleidoscopic cubist period in the 1950s. In 1963, he began taking classes with Violet de Mazia at the Barnes Foundation in Marion, Pennsylvania. During that time, a study of Paul Cezanne's The Boy in the Red Vest caused him to reevaluate the way he thought about color in his work. This new thinking produced notable effects on Loper's style. His work became more dramatic, structured, and colorful. He also began teaching with local students, including Jane Mitchell, one of the namesakes of the Delaware Historical Society's Jane and Littleton Mitchell Center for African American Heritage. In 1996, the Delaware Art Museum organized the first retrospective of Loper's work from his 60 years as an artist. After his death in 2011, U.S. Senator Thomas Carper wrote, his talent for color broke the mold of his time, and his passion for teaching others to see through color was uh, really unsurpassed. Uh, Ed Loper changed the landscape for black artists and paved the way for others who came after him. Want to make your own study of Loper's work? You can see his paintings today at the University of Delaware's Paul R. Jones Collection of African American Art, the National Gallery of Art, the Smithsonian American Art Museum, the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, the Corcoran Gallery of Art, and more.